Maggie Smith is one of the most iconic actresses in living memory. She was already a seasoned veteran when she landed the role of Violet Crawley, Dowager Countess of Grantham, on Downton Abbey, which has since become one of her best-known roles. Smith spoke about her decision to become an actress during a 2019 interview with The Evening Standard, saying, "'Honest to God, I have no idea where the urge came from. It was such a ghastly time, and we didn't go to the theater. I got into terrible trouble once because the neighbors took me to the cinema on a Sunday, but I had a wonderful teacher who encouraged me. Smith has been acting in production since the 1950s and even appeared as Professor Minerva McGonagall in the Harry Potter franchise. Despite already having an incredibly successful career, she claims that her appearance in Downton Abbey is to blame for her lack of anonymity when she is out and about. But it's only since Downton and that's, that's television for you. During an appearance on The Graham Norton Show, she explained, I led a perfectly normal life until Downton Abbey. I'm not kidding. I'd go to theaters, I'd go to galleries, things like that on my own. And now I can't, and that's awful. Since Downton Abbey wrapped in 2015, Smith has been selective about the role she takes. However, she has most definitely earned a break from show business. Smith has a slew of awards, including two Oscars, one of which was for her role in The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, and three Emmy Awards for Downton Abbey. She is also a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Following Downton Abbey, Smith reprised her role from the Harry Potter films. The voice role was for the 2018 video game Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Smith also voiced Lady Blueberry in Sherlock Gnomes the same year. One of her most recent roles was an appearance in A Boy Called Christmas, which was released in 2021. Smith was also swayed to rejoin her Downton Abbey castmates for the 2019 film. Convincing Smith to reprise her role must have been quite the challenge, as she had been adamant about not wanting to appear in a Downton film. Executive producer Gareth Neem revealed that Smith was the last cast member to sign on for the movie, but, thankfully for her fans, she finally agreed to appear in it. As he told Parade, I suspect in a lot of ways, Maggie missed working with the other actors. When she was completely sure everyone was going to do it and it was happening, then she was on board. Despite her protests regarding future appearances in Downton Abbey films, Smith will also be returning to star in the second movie, Downton Abbey, A New Era. The film follows Tom Branson as he marries for the second time and will perhaps even cover an affair Violet Crawley had earlier in her life. Though all of the principal characters will be returning to Downton Abbey, A New Era, Neem admitted back in 2019 that gathering all of the cast together once again would be a challenge. He told The Hollywood Reporter, we are working on what the story is and when we might be able to make it. But it's the same as the first time around. We have to try to get everyone back together again. And that was very challenging. Many might be surprised to see the Dowager Countess, given the fact that she appeared to be gravely ill towards the end of the last Downton Abbey film. By the time we finished, she must have been 110. Smith also seemed to feel that her illness would mean that she wouldn't appear in the upcoming film. While being interviewed on The Graham Norton Show, she said of her imminent appearance in Downton Abbey, a new era. I was firmly convinced it would start with the funeral. I could croak it and it would just start with the body. However, Neem never counted her out, telling The Hollywood Reporter, All I would say is that one of the things that's been commented on over the years about Downton is that we've had plenty of medical misdiagnoses. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.